Hey guys, how's it going? We're gonna try getting something maybe a little different from the norm of wrenching on, you know, gas powered stuff. And we're gonna go for something that's uh, electric powered. I grabbed this at a yard sale over the course of the summer, did a quick look at it, threw it in the truck, bought it cheap, and uh, saved it for just such a snowy day occasion like today for us to go and play with. So what it is, is a vintage slot car set. Uh, this one, Aurora or Atlas, Atlas. I quickly looked in the box, really didn't take anything out of it, didn't set anything up. What you see is what we got. I think we'll go do that together and we'll see if we can bring them back to life. Let me get you in a little closer. And yeah, they're packed away as how you see. You're seeing what I'm seeing. And let's go see what we got for cars. Look at Jag. First generation Mustang. Convertible. 32. Uh, Wrecker. The body is that. Uh, that Datsun? No, it's Ferrari. I don't know what year the set would be. I haven't figured that out yet. A couple more bodies. Another motor and chassis. And hopefully everything is in here. I do, like when I see these, I kind of grab them at yard sales and I have a bunch stored up in the attic, again, for probably another snowy, rainy day of more of the later generation stuff. But I do believe I have a kit with a bunch of other slot cars too. I'm not, they're probably gonna be more the AFX generation. But I think we should probably get at least two of those. All we need, all we need is two. We might find more down below too. Let me pop you back in the stand. We'll start taking some of this stuff out and we'll see if we have a complete set. All right, so that box back, let's go get all the goodies out. Those are the pins for tying the tracks together. That's a I don't know. There's a lot of those. Here's the transformer and the guns. And should be just a ton of track. Hopefully there's more curves than what I'm seeing or else we're gonna have a drag strip. <laughs> <laughs> when I grew up, I was born in here with all the curves. I was born in 64, so you figure by like 1972, 74 was the age I would have been getting into this stuff. And the AFX is really popular. But I found one of these at a yard sale. And it was kind of my first introduction into that stuff couple of little parts in there and guardrails and sometimes you want to relive your, your youth of the things that you find and I guess we're gonna be no different on the air I do not see much <laughs> there's an old three you want to can I was hoping I'd find yeah oh, there we go I would say something with a bunch of parts in it because generally you work on the cars about half the time you run the cars. When you buy a new car, it was probably good for like about the first day or so. And then after that, <laughs> you were uh, putting two cars together. You crash them, they go sliding off. The, the parts would burn up and wear out. A bunch of larger tires in here is what I'm seeing now. But good. What is that? Where do those two go? What would these two guys be? A turn, uh, a junction. That's cool. You can make a road like that. You can make an intersection. I've never seen that before. Nice. Let's make sure. I thought it was round pins that held the tracks together. And these are. 
I guess the correct ones, it just seems. These used to come on a strip and you used to have to break them loose. <laughs> Let me think. You're gonna need four per. I think we're gonna run out. So that's how they would go. Four across. Because they need to be able to conduct the current. Going around. And I also think that you're supposed to this really early set you're supposed to put little fine tacks in them and tack the tracks down I don't think we're doing that on a metal bench I also seem to remember as a kid taking um, tape and cutting little slivers and, and putting tape on, on the sides but we'll see let's go uh, clean some of this up and see if we can make a layout for a track or maybe we'll get to get one of the cars running first all right so I've made the executive decision you know, because I'm the only one here, somebody has to do it. That we go play with plugging the transformer in and seeing what the cars do first. How's that? Let's see if I can hear a hum. I don't know if I hear a hum. And we got the two cars that are the, have the bodies on them. I figure we can go try with those the Mustang and the Jag. Let's go. Let's see. <laughs> what do you want? It's only been sitting for 40 years. A good trick that we used to do. Let's go try the other hand trigger. Nope. We got an issue somewhere. Probably go get our test light out. And uh, see if we got anything coming out of the transformer. You know what? I plugged it in. <laughs> See if I hear humming now. I hear humming now. That'll help. You gotta plug it in and turn it on. Yeah, let's see if we get anything out of them. That that one wants to go. <laughs> she, she's. I let off. Uh, I don't know if that controller is. Ah, oh, you can smell. You can smell ozone. I'm not sure what's going on with that trigger. <laughs> Let's go try the Mustang. Power staying on all the time. Ooh. Yeah, she's a smooth one too, huh? But they will work. You want a bird's eye view, not an actual bird's eye. Try the other controller. She might need a little bit of work. <laughs> oh, this guy. Where's fighting me? Think we're doing some operation on them, huh? You want to screw with getting cars fixed first or hooking up a track? I want to play with the cars. I win. All right, so who wants to do the smallest carb rebuild on a 65 Mustang you've ever seen? And it probably wouldn't have been a great idea to have two cups of coffee before doing this. For the shaky part. There's like a smell of ozone when they run, it comes off. If he brings back a memory. Train sets were like that too. It's got a one bale over the whole thing that holds it together. Here's 
where all the guts come out. And you got two little brushes. So the power comes up. Those are the magnets. Uh, let me start over. So the track has current going around on it. And it's got two shoes that pick that up. The shoes pick it up, send it to two sets of uh, brushes on the inside. And the brushes over time kind of wear down. These brushes have little springs behind them that keep them up. And they run against the motor rotor right there. And they conduct power to go pull it around. And these are the magnets for the motor. If you swap the magnet from left to right, the car will go forward or backwards. You can actually switch the direction it runs by putting the magnets on the other side. You could tell a really bad one. Again, this is all this stuff is going back 45 years, <laughs> 43 years since I played with this stuff. And you would tell by looking at those windings how burnt they were, what kind of condition the motor was in. A lot of that goosing is just going to be come, coming from the gears. Hold on. Coming from the gears that uh, don't have any lube on them. And the brushes too. So let's get them out of there. That one's holding up. And that was probably the most common wear item were the brushes in the shoes and again the brushes i'll show you the shoes rather come off and there's a little spring underneath them so those are very common to get launched across the room there. and because it's copper the stuff corrodes over time so they don't make very good contact i'm gonna launch that one I I called it, told you. And let's go see if we can do the same with. Let's not do the same with this one. Yeah, so nothing's changed as far as that's concerned. Be crawling underneath the 4 bh plywood trying to find that sucker. And then the gear, a lot of times too, like hair and stuff will get caught inside the rear axle and slow it down. That one's got a bunch behind on that one I think maybe not and then the gear itself would uh you can adjust the preload of these by all this stuff slides on an axle so you can make it closer or further apart you can get like more performance out of it less performance out of it <laughs> so I'm gonna go take a minute to pick all that fuzzies out of there and go find the spring that is hanging out hopefully right below me so you know it's really hard to find in the year 2019 that was easy to find in 1974 an eraser try finding an eraser in your house today Hard enough trying to find a pen. So what the eraser does, it helps you clean up the contact areas on things like the motor, the brushes, the shoes, and the track. Because again, over time, all that corrosion kind of moves in takes over. Somebody's ringing my bell. I'm going to go clean that up. Uh, we need... I didn't find that spring. I lost it. The shoes. I'm trying to do this with filament. In focus. And where they contact the track. It's where they wear out. So they'll eventually wear out and they wear right through. And then you get like flat spots in it. But you need the little contact patch. Be nice and bright and shiny. I am going to go do that. I also went and found another 
container or box of AFX cars, the later generation cars, and took a peek at some of the other cars that were here. There's a different style I've never seen before, but I think so much we're going to look at in this video. Not sure how far we're going to get. That looks pretty good, right? All right, change your battery. All right, earlier we tried picking some of the hair out between those wheels. Let's see if we can get in there. You can slide them off, the axles off, but they'll wear out over time. But they generally pick up a bunch of crap. Are you gonna fight me? There you go, I think I got it. Got it and it just fell off, I think. Now you can see the axle. And the one thing that I have now that I didn't have back then was compressed air. So let me take an air gun, we'll try and blow out. I think we're gonna need a little bit more room to get in there. I got little splines on them. And you can see all the all the crap that builds up behind the wheels. And it slowly slows them down so they can't move anymore. Same can happen by the gear too. You can slide the whole axle out, but again, what happens is the plastic starts getting egged out. So I don't want to overdo it. I think I'm going to try just getting in there with some... Uh, again, some compressed air, and then we're going to go back with oil. Put it all back together and oil it. We'll fire it up again, and we'll see if she sounds a little less goosey. And this is definitely the time before video games. I just spent hours on that. And like we had like tracks that you had to go take apart and put back together all the time. You know, it was like it's dinner time, you're using a kitchen table. So you only had enough time to go play and then you had to go tear it all down apart. And the tracks don't like that very much. Start breaking all the pieces. But anyway, so the house next door, they had like seven kids. They had a track set up in their basement all the time. So we used to go over there and do racing. Get old enough to have a bicycle. <laughs> bicycle and then gas powered stuff, and so this stuff kind of went away. So now we're just re revisiting it. I guess this was, it was your first time at learning how to drive, flying off the track. <laughs> All right. I picked out what I want to go pick out of there. I'm going to start reassembling. We're getting ready on the, the reassembly. Yeah, I hope you guys are going to read this. It says, uh, this is the 3-in-1 oil can that we're going to go use. And on the can it says, uh, do not induce, oh, on top it's uh, contains petroleum dis dis distillates. If swallowed, do not induce uh, vomiting, call a physician. Keep away from children. Keep away from children. <laughs> It's a children's set. Granted, it didn't come with it, but definitely had oil that uh, That looks a little on a funky color side, doesn't it? Let's go on. See how this 40-year-old. Uh, We're going to go with that. We're going to use that for lubing. Oh, don't rock. I want to get around these gears too. Again, they all pull apart. I forget to clean this. Yeah, this one's bad too. So all that, again, all that hair. Dust and you know, the crap off your shirt and everything else has a tendency to be really what slows them down over time. An air gun here somewhere. I had an air gun here somewhere. <laughs> there we go. 
tight quarters. So don't want to blow off yeah. That one may have to come apart. It's fun and locked up. The thing is you gotta be careful because you can really all those gears and stuff are soft. I may go work on that off camera. Yeah. I'm gonna take my time and pick away at that. It's ready to go put it together, but yeah, it's still binding. Kind of kicking on an angle so we both can see. The magnets. We used to put them against each other one way. They attract and one way they repel. They seem to be doing the same and they don't seem to be very strong. So they may have lost some of their their chutzpah over the years. And again, I'm not sure of the polarity on them. In the worst case, you just flip them over. We'll just make it go backwards. The brushes. The brushes, we, I think we just would roll around in a piece of... Like, um, cloth and get the excess carbon off of them. And remember you wouldn't have any money for any replacement parts where you don't want to wait. You would get rid of the brushes altogether <laughs> and you would push the little metal tabs all the way up <laughs> and let it run on the bottom of the motor. We're gonna go dropping, go dropping them in and moving them into location. keep you guys in focus and we're gonna go for that slightly smooth side up I think yeah these are really good for getting launched across the room too flip that one because they're almost yeah, pretty square on both sides Where's the motor itself? Stuck to the magnet. So that was clean until about 10 seconds ago when I decided to have the dirty magnetic tray rub up against it. There. That's cleaned off. The ultrasonic thing might help with this stuff too. So we want to get that together. And these go straight down. As long as the brushes don't get kicked up, it'll lay flat. And you'll be able to tell because you'll be able to spin it. You hear goose in there already. You might have to push that gear down on top. I'm going to try oiling it first. See if that goes away. Intermediate gear. And then there's a clip that locks it all together. Probably put a rim back on, huh? Looks like we had a wreck here. Wherever that wheel ended up. Hmm. Intermission. I know you guys saw it sitting in the body over there and you didn't even tell me. There we go. Pull the schmigma out of there except for one little hair. You got like a backlash on the gears, I remember. You want so much space between that gear and the one on the bottom. You want the axle just to be able to slide from side to side a little. It does. And I also see a hunk of hair that doesn't want to leave. Really? You know, if you got to start it up, it's going to suck that right back in again. Come on. It's like tucked in a pocket under there. It doesn't want to come out. 
Come on. There you go. Now the brushes. Here's where I lo really launch stuff across the room. I already lost one of these, so I gotta go chase another. We are gonna go try putting. I think sometimes you used to try to slide it in after, also. That one. Take one of our cleaned up shoes. steady hand. Do your best. Curl that sucker under there. There we go. Locks onto the top. And it's a nice little soft springy connection. We gotta go find another spring to do the other one. And I'm stealing it off the tow truck. tow truck never gets any respect. Easy. I don't know what they make today. It went from uh, my memories, like Atlas, Aurora, then I think it went to AFX, um, and then the, like the style of car started getting better. They had, they had like um, it goes G Plus was coming out. I think in like the early '80s. And what they did, like, down the bottom of this car, you can't see the magnets. On, later on, the Magnetron, that was the name of it. They, they cut the bodies away further. I'll show you one later. So the magnets would get closer to the track, and the magnets would help hold the car down. On the track. And then they had, I think it was Power Passers. There were ones that, there was no pin on the car, and a car can, you could switch from lane to lane. Or something like that. That feels pretty good. We can put its tire back on. And then we need to go and dabble in a little bit of oil. We're going to try using this and see how it works out for us. And I'm going to put oil in certain areas. that gear. So you remember I had like some kind of applicator or something for this at the time. The one that spins the fastest though is the front one. And that's the one that's goosing too. Right. You can access a little bit. You don't want to get it in the brushes though. Put a little dabble there, and then where the axles are, drop there. From it helps lubricate, but it actually at the same to token also helps uh, hurts attracting dust. Yeah. What do you think? Want to try putting power to it again? See if it sounds a little bit better than you did for the first time. Okay. Let's go prep the surface first. <laughs> yeah, the transformer is still on. 
it is and it's plugged in. Let's see. You know what? Let's go pop the, the back tires. And eh, no, it's not going to matter because it's going to hit the. It'll hit the axle. I wanted to put it. That sounds a little better. I think we're going the wrong way. Let's go backwards. Who's to say what's the wrong way though, right? The smell that comes off of it is, is probably the most reminiscent part of this whole thing. You forget that, that smell they put off. There it goes. She's picking up. I think it's a... Uh, got cruise control. Let's go try the other gun on the other lane. I think that one worked better. There we go. How far do you think we'll get without a pin? <laughs> Real far. All right. Let's go put the body back on it and uh, see if we'll go launch it down 10 inches of track. The axles, because the bodies sometimes are different sizes, the axle in the front, you, there's usually like different holes you could put it in, so you could change the wheelbase of it too. Let's see what that does. That pin looks like it's a little, yeah, the pin's leaning forward, but we'll leave it alone, see what it does. What's your thoughts? Think it'll go? <laughs> you think it'll, I gotta nudge it. <laughs> We having fun yet? <laughs> there you go. It's gonna burn up. <laughs> let's see if we can put some track together. All right, let's see if we can make a, a basic figure eight for now. We'll just kind of start with that, see if we get enough pieces. I think we're gonna run out of pins is what my problem is. Uh, let's go with a straight off of each one in each direction. So we'll go with cross. These are all normal. Make some room. Let's go with one there, there, there. I remember this game. <laughs> oh yeah, now it brings it back. What do we need to do to fix that? That's all we got for shorts is those three, four. So we got four that are the same size. in the right area. What if we continue on the way?
Still gonna be up. I think we're going for an oval. get the idea. Right, that's what I came up with. <laughs> of course, I chased it around. And you close up one gap here, and then a gap opens up over here. You keep doing that, like, round and round in circles. What do you think our chances are it'll actually make it all the way around on the first time? Let's get the right lane. And it wants to go that way. What do you think? <laughs> think it'll stop right here? <laughs> Give her. I was only kidding. <laughs> Two, go from this side. So I'm going to have to go chase those all the way around. All right, so we got that one, that one. Crash, first wipeout. Let's find out where our break is. Right there. This track right here is not playing well with the others. He did not like that track at all. I think I just crashed into a wall. <laughs> I'm going to change out that section of track. If you got it. I actually just hit it with the pencil eraser. I might have not just cleaned that one. Trying not to wipe it out. <laughs> Almost went off there. <laughs> Need somebody to race. Who wants to go race? You gotta get another car going too. And this is just a test track. We can make ourselves a, a nice one. Uh, in the future, I may have a place that we can kind of leave this stuff set up. Almost, I almost lost it. Yeah, clip the guardrails on for the outside lane. Time trials. I'm <laughs> just nailing it around the sharp curve. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I know it's a little different. Let's see how this kind of goes over. You guys like it? Uh, give me some uh, heads up in the comments, and uh, maybe we'll play further with this stuff. If it's not much of an interest, uh, we'll I'll just go play with my self. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Yeah, I need somebody else to race. Let's go see how fast we can go without crashing. See how fast we can go with crashing. Off the edge there. That's where he's got to watch out on that downhill. We used to have a cat too. <laughs> the cat would want to come over and chase it like a mouse. And then I think at some point we had a train set. Like an HO scale train set. That you would interact it would uh, have a railroad crossing. You try to make, you just have the train go around on a set pace. I mean, you should, you should try beating the train and not getting hit by the train. And then we started watching too much. Uh, what was the Adams family with the trains? They would crash the trains together. We would flip the magnets over on the cars. And so we'll put them on both on the same lane and have them go at each other and crash them. <laughs> I wonder why I don't have any of that stuff left. And you put oil on the track, make it slipperier. You put oil on it. can't hold it you can't hold it to the pin and the later ones with the magnets in it would really hold the track much better because the magnets would actually you know grab the strip and try pulling the strip around with it i say it's pretty good for sitting in a box for 40 years and coming back to life how many toys are you gonna go buy today that you can go do that with right 40 years from now it'll still be and these were mod these were new cars Back when the set was new, that was a new car. <laughs> <All right. laughs> it is fun, I can tell you that. All right, let's go fire up the Jag. We haven't done anything to it. It's got fur and everything hanging all out of it. Make sure the tires aren't rubbing on the body. Let's see if this one will uh, play. Probably going in another direction too. Is it missing a tire or what? Those tires are like almost petrified. Let's see what happens. <laughs> that one has an issue. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't service them. <laughs> I don't know if it's just the, the, the gears hitting the track or the tires are so wore down or, or what it is. But you don't want to play well, does it? In that box is a bunch of these cars too, which is a different style. Totally different motor setup and all. Uh, I don't know anything about these. And again, the, the pin's not on them. I've never had this style. Let's just see if they power up or if they do anything. Get the remote out of the way. Just kind of do a, hold on, do a test run. What are they, AC or something? Let's go make sure our track is still working. It is. So we know the track works. Nothing on that one. That one did, let's go do something. That'll, sounds a little early. Well, that one will run, it needs to be serviced. That one will run. Needs to be serviced. Look at this one. Look at the, what's the deal with the setup on top of that, huh? I have never seen that side. Look at the gear on the back side of it too. It goes all the way across. That's weird. That shoe is also, uh, yeah, that's a really, uh, contact with that one.
Huh. What a weird... You know what it is? Check this one out. It's got... It just vibrates up, up and down and it ratchets off the back gear. So it lifts up, lifts up, catches some teeth and pushes down. And that's how it moves the tire. How weird is that, huh? That brush. Let me uh, go doctor that brush a little. Yeah, that's totally screwed up. It uh, doesn't have a motor that spins. It just kind of vibrates. I'm not, I mean, you guys probably know what it is. Let's see if it'll... I know why they're not that popular. <laughs> oh. Man, a little issue with traction control on that one, though. What else do we got? You know what I have? I got a box I brought out of some other ones that I have from a different yard sale. Let's go take a peek at those. And I, I have a, a bunch more, too, but... Look and see what we got. Got like. I don't know if this went around as a. Maybe it did. Yeah. And see the magnets underneath I was talking about? This one's gonna hit the bridge. Let's go give this a shot, see what happens. I need. What do I need? Inside track. Let's just see if it, if it even does anything. We're on the outside, that's why. Duh. Oops, and I got the, the Mustang on the track too. Shall we? I would definitely say all the cars need some attention. Especially if that one is supposed to be hauling you know, all wheels on it. That's kind of got wheels on it. Looks like it's had a rack too. What's up with that floating? Oh, it's got a pin in it. Alright. So it can make the turns, I guess. You guys can't see. I'm like, really? What are you doing with I would say we should move on to another one. Yeah, that one needs some love. I'm sure all of them will be because all that stuff dries up over time. This is probably like one of the most famous ones that we used to end up running around on the tracks as a kid was like that style. And the Baja Doom Buggy with the uh, the tire on the roof. I'm sure I have one of those in stash. This was a cool truck too, the Datsun, the Datsun pickup. Let's see if this one does anything. That's a no. Will a Datsun run after 40 years? A Datsun will run. Come on, Datsun. <laughs> I wiped it out. Let's go back you up. Yeah, see if we can get the Datsun to go around the track once. We do not have enough clearance. You think I broke contacts all over the track now because I moved it? These will be much faster too. Maybe. <laughs> well, that would be a runner. 
go I'll try a couple more and we'll call the call the gig. Check this thing out. Check out the Corvette with the funky racing tires. And this is the later style too. Totally different style. This might be like a G plus or something. Worth to do nothing. <laughs> Very, uh, let's see if we can kind of clean it up. Wants to go. Yep, that one needs a maintenance too. I think this one's a Celica. There's a later one also. I'll say effects. Kind of racked in the body a little. Mm -hmm. This one might have headlights. Why? Be free. <laughs> the tires are like petrified rocks just from being so old. They used to be like a little spongy kind of material, but not anymore. Right now, they're like rocks. And the brushes are burned through on this one. The shoes, rather. You can actually see holes right through it. Come on, Toyota. Don't let me down. Little dots and beat you. These things will fly. Once you get them really set up right, you really you can only run like half throttle most of the time because they'll fly right off the track. I know, I know it's not looking like it now, just but again because the tires are just so junk. All right, these are G plus. Yeah, these are G plus. These are the ones that are really supposed to be glued to the track. Let's go see if they'll do anything. I wonder if the spacing of the track is different. No. Why does it seem the oldest ones are the best ones, huh? Anything else we want to play with? Try Jeep. Jeep's got lights. Got lights on the roof. <laughs> Fly, be free. I'm gonna take the eraser to the um, shoes on it real quick. I don't really think that's what the problem is, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Bet you that one's gonna hit when it goes under. Yeah, that one doesn't clear. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm running out of time. Awesome bunch of little sets. I think uh, other than probably ordering some wheels, we can bring all this stuff back to life. And again, I have a bunch of other sets. Let's go back with the Mustang one last round. I think we have to go the other way. Once they're cleaned up. We're fine. <laughs> and that would be the slowest car, really. Once the, all the other ones get tuned up. When we start making some funky track layouts. All right, guys, with that, if this is something you'd like to see some more, give me a heads up in the comments. If not, give me a heads up in the comments, and, uh, you know, we'll just get back on the other motoring stuff. But I thought I had this stuff. 
I always enjoy it. Figure maybe some of you guys would like it too. Maybe re relive a little bit of your youth. So until the next one, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.